Hi, my name is Dr. Sanjay Tricker and I'm one of the founders of Trick One Aesthetics Mayfair. And let's talk a little bit more in detail about LED mask treatments and how this is going to be used in our clinic and how it might be a good option for you. Now different types of light energy can impact cells in a different way depending on the wavelength and if we control the wavelength we can control exactly what it is we're trying to do to the cells that we're focusing on. So in terms of how light and energy can impact the skin, with LED technology what we're doing is we're using light to control what's happening at a cellular level. Now the concept of using light or energy to cause damage to cells is quite well known. Not damage in a bad way, it could be in a bad way if it's not controlled, but within aesthetics we frequently use things like lasers for example or some ablative devices we can use radio frequency and the purpose of that is we're trying to cause damage to cells in a deeper layer whereby when they regenerate they regenerate a little bit better concepts like this you can also find in things like weight training in the gym when you're going to the gym in order to try and build muscle people are basically breaking down their muscle fibers and they grow back stronger that's the point of what it is even when you do things like intermittent fasting this concept of things breaking down and regenerating better is a concept that you can find absolutely everywhere. So as a concept, it's nothing new. Now, there are lots of LED face mask treatments that are within the market. There are lots that people can do at home. You see adverts for them all the time. Since we've introduced one into clinic, I receive adverts for these basically every single day of the week, and there are so many different ones. And if I found it hard to decide which one to go for, then naturally for a patient, it's gonna be even harder to really understand what's good and what's not. But one thing that I would say about this is when it comes to LED treatments, the numbers don't really lie. And by the numbers, what I'm talking about is there are only specific wavelengths that are the ones that are clinically indicated to help or improve the skin in a specific way. So only if we're following those wavelengths are we gonna be sure that we're actually helping the skin and doing something useful. However, what differentiates a really good LED mask from perhaps a less good one is gonna be the actual quality of the LED itself. Now, with the good quality ones, when we're picking and selecting a specific wavelength, what it's trying to do is ensure we get full coverage at that specific wavelength. So less leakage, less light being released in different directions, everything focused and targeted on the cells that we're trying to treat. That's what determines whether something is good versus not good when it comes to these type of treatments. Now this is where the Dermalux LED phototherapy treatment comes in because this is one of the treatments where the LEDs that are made are specifically made for the use of this type of treatment and therefore the focus on the cell that we're trying to treat is very, very, very focused so there's no leakage. This means the treatment's very high impact over a long period of time. Oh, sorry, well, this means the treatment is very high impact over a short period of time. So if someone wants to sit under the lights for 20 to 30 minutes, they're going to observe a clinical benefit. It's not something that you need to spend hours and hours and hours and hours under there to actually get an improvement. So this Dermalux LED technology is patented to specifically treat medical conditions and it's CE marked. Anything that's CE marked shows that it's basically been through lots of rigorous scientific critiquing and that ensures that we're going to get a certain level of quality with that machine. With the Dermalux, one of the main reasons why it's so good is because there are three different wavelengths that we can really focus on and we can use them all at the same time. So what that means is, again, we're saving time because we're getting the high impact treatment from different things, but all at the same time. These three wavelengths are going to be red, blue, and near infrared, and they're all used for slightly different things. There's actually a really simple way of remembering what light does what. I wouldn't expect you to know that, but it's how I remember it at least. So blue is gonna be for blemishes and bacteria. What that means is it targets blemishes and spot prone skin, and it also works on reducing and eliminating certain bacteria within the skin. For that reason, the blue light is gonna be a really great option straight after basically any procedure, because it's just gonna make sure everything's nice and clean. It's gonna make sure that you're not gonna get any, or it's gonna reduce the chance of having any breakouts after any disturbance caused to the skin by any treatment. So that's what's gonna make that a really good option. The red light is gonna be for rejuvenation and renewal. So this is the one that's really stimulating better quality skin. This means the red light is going to give you more collagen, more elastin, it's going to help with blood flow, it's going to help with the overall regeneration and repair of the area, and that means it's going to be really useful to treat as almost a maintenance treatment, so it's going to improve with fine lines, hydration, overall skin quality, skin tightness. It's just a really good option for someone to do between treatments or just to maintain skin using something that's going to be less invasive, that's going to help optimize your skin from within. And the third one is going to be near infrared. 
think infrared inflammation. So this is one that targets and reduces inflammation and that makes it a really good option straight after a treatment as well. So it calms redness, it calms irritation, it reduces the chance of someone getting hyperpigmentation after a procedure as well. So anything that's going to help improve the inflammatory process is what this is trying to do. What that means to patients is if somebody's had a treatment, for example, a Morpheus 8 treatment or injectable treatments, and there's been anything really going on that's causing a bit of damage within the skin, this is going to help reduce the inflammation, which is going to dramatically improve and increase the recovery time. So to summarize how these wavelengths and lights are going to be used in our clinic to optimize outcomes, after procedures, the blue light and the near infrared is more often than not going to be a really good option because it's going to reduce the chance of there being any bacteria, it's going to reduce the blemishes, it's going to help against inflammation and help overall recovery. The next thing is after appointments or before appointments or between appointments, the red light therapy is always going to be a good option because the energy it provides to the skin cells is overall just helping rejuvenation and improving skin quality intrinsically. I'm just going to talk to you about some papers that have been published talking about the Dermalux light therapy treatment specifically. So all the statistics here are going to be about the treatment that we're talking about. Firstly, near infrared light can increase cell regeneration by up to 200%. Red light and near-infrared light can improve periorbital wrinkles by about 75%. They're the ones around the eyes. Red light and near-infrared light can improve skin texture and smoothness by up to 79%. Red light and near-infrared light can increase skin elasticity by 36%. Near-infrared light can significantly reduce redness and flushing. Blue and red light can improve spots and blemishes by 76%. These are just some of the papers, but there are countless papers out there talking about the benefits of these type of light therapy treatments. So having had the treatment myself, what does it feel like? Well, it's quite a relaxing treatment. You'll sit there and we'll put on some goggles, which are basically going to stop any light from entering your eyes. And you can basically just lie back and relax for 20 to 30 minutes. As you can see, the device is placed over your face whilst you're lying down. And you can use that time for either some quiet contemplation or reflection, or what most people do is listen to a podcast or an audiobook or whatever it is they want to listen to whilst they're relaxing and receiving their treatment. One of the added benefits that I've read about is this is also clinically proven to improve mood. So that's always a good thing. So I know a lot of this sounds too good to be true. I guess it's good to go through who this would not be suitable for as well. So in terms of people who maybe should avoid this type of treatment, the first one is going to be people who are light sensitive or who are prone to epilepsy or seizures that can be induced by light as well. Because even though you're wearing the goggles, it's still a bright treatment and that's always going to be something that stops you from getting the type of treatment. Other people who should avoid this treatment are going to be people who suffer from certain autoimmune conditions, for example, lupus. Uh, people who've got photosensitive eczema should probably avoid this treatment as well. And also people who uh, actively currently have cancer should avoid this treatment as well. But just to wrap this up, I guess sharing my thoughts on this, I first came across this type of treatment when I was studying at University College London in my Masters of Surgery in Aesthetics, where we covered this type of treatment in quite a lot of detail. I've always been really, really interested in the power of regenerative medicine and how these things are going to intertwine with what we do with aesthetic medicine and how they're going to pair together to try and create one plus one equals three type relationships. So this type of treatment, I'm really happy that we've introduced it. I wish we'd done it 10 years ago, but it's here now because it's really in keeping with the ethos of everything we're trying to do in our clinic, which is all about maximizing the type of result possible with a natural look restoration type treatment. So because of that, we've actually got a special offer on for all of our current patients, which is for the first two months that this treatment has been introduced, which as of recording this is going to be August and September 2024. For any of our patients who've booked in for a treatment um, or any of their usual treatments they receive, they're going to be receiving one session of this complimentary just to try and help them with their recovery and regeneration and put them on the right track to getting a better result than ever before. I hope you found that educational and informative and thank you very much for listening. If you've got any further questions, please do drop them below and we'll get back to you.